Ruth here, and this is the new ish of copper is 2022 on the back, I think. Anyway, this is the newly awarded best tool of the year 2024, I think, from the crap thing. I forgot, but um, yeah, and I thought it'd be a very nice addition because I needed a trimmer as well as it comes with the uh, three hole punches right, well hole punch corner punch of two types and uh, the notch envelope punch which I was looking for and then it's got ruler and it extends out and it's got the trimmer blade right here and the scoreboard which goes clips for centimeters and inches and it also comes with, well, a, basically a big bone folder thing, and a envelope guide, which I won't need to think about it. It comes with two trimmers, so a replacement one for the one that would be in there. That's what I already said, I said that, I said that. Well, obviously there's only one board, but yes. So we can make gift bags, banners, or bunting them, whatever you want to call them. Cards, obviously. Boxes, rosettes, and bolts, of course. Um, it's a very nice sturdy box. It comes with a handle on top. It's scoring board and trimmer. It is what it's called. The company is Sizzix, obviously, as you saw from the front on the side. again but here is the three punches and then on the other side is when I get there is just you using the trimmer and bone folder thing I'm pretty sure they called it something else also they rotate um, let's read this, shall we? Up close and personal. So, let's see. Trim, score, and make envelopes with one easy tool. Reversible scoring board for both imperial and metric measurements. Lift up handle for easy paper insertion and clean, straight cuts. Reversible imperial and metric measurement tool. Removable corner hole and envelope punches. Use them on and off the board. Well, that's what it's called, a fold and form tool. That's basically your bone folder thing. Uh, included for your scoring and paper curling mix. Removable and easy to change blade, extra blade included. Use our online generator to make any size envelope or favor box to the max size of the board. The instruction booklet features step-by-step -step guides on how to make cards, envelopes, boxes, tags, and banners, as well as general guidance on how to use a scoring board and trimmer. The rest is other languages. Let's see. I would no, let's see, I think that's German. Maybe Spanish or something. I don't know, I don't speak it anyway. And there's another language down there. But anyway, here are the three. The envelope punch, hole punch, corner punch. But I normally just refer that to as like the, the notch punch, you know, because it cuts in. Um, <clears throat> reversible and removable imperial and metric measuring tool. So this ruler has centimeters and inches on either side. So you just flip it around. Angle hub, replaceable trimming blade, 12 inch universal measurement scoring board, the base, hmm. uh, fold and form tool, 
And like, let's move this up for him. You got the trim mode, the envelope mode at 45 degrees. And at 90 degrees, there is a score mode. I wonder what you can make at other angles. I guess different sized stuff. Yeah, that's the general, you know, warning boring stuff. 18 plus. Keep away from children, small pieces, choking hazard. Cutting them. Pinch slash puncture of hazard. Contents are sharp. Use with caution. Do not rotate the measuring tool using the, the angle of rotate the measuring tool by moving the measuring tool over the board. So you move the wheel over. You lift this bit up and you move it. Like, like that. You lift it when you lock it into place. You lift that up and you shift it. You don't shift this. I believe is what it's saying. And ensure the trimmer roll is clipped back into place in the mechanism before use. Well, yeah, you won't be able to use it if you didn't clip it back in, right? So, like, since I believe it has a, a groove, right? You might be able to maybe use another knife if your blade is dull and you haven't bought the replacement yet. I don't know. And on the bottom, I mean, turn it around. Scan QR code for quick and easy generators and supporting tips and tricks. Well, I did actually. There it is if you want to. You just look it up on the Sizzix website and just click the uh, score board and trimmer hub or something. And then it will bring you to this page. You just got to click the uh, start under the generators subsection and it'll take you to the generator page. I did have a little play and, and see. But I also watched the videos too. <laughs> so I'll open this up. Probably can't open it on the chair or on the desk because it's a bit crowded. I might need to open it on the floor. But um, you know what? Let's do this on the chair. It'll be completely one-handed because I have not thinged. I would put away my bigger tripod because I didn't think I need it anymore at the moment because I've got a smaller one that attaches to the desk for more of an overhead thing. And um, I'm gonna put it away. I didn't think I'd need it. that bit out but you don't need to see me struggling on it. So it's very nice. Hello, Sizzix maker. That's nice. <laughs> oh it's got all sorts of stuff on there. What is that? Tweezers? Knife possibly glue. I think tape runner Haku gun. No idea what that is. We've got boxes, envelopes, maybe a stamping platform or a stencil thing. Maybe it's a stencil slash stamping platform thing. We got the paper trimmer on there. 
light bulb, you know, I'm using... Maybe that's for ideas. To represent ideas. I don't know. Uh, scissors. Why am I even going over the stinking box? I have no idea. But, oh, look. It's got the, the replacement blade here stuck on there. Very nice, very nice. We got a manual, which would be mighty handy. And from the looks of it, it's all mainly pictures. And it shows me what the is. Very nice. It's got the same picture as on the outside of the box. And all the uh, instructions seem to be with pictures. Isn't that nice? Oh, it's got card size. Hmm. And then we've got some the envelope thing again. matrix table, how to use that, I guess. What is this? Oh, how to do the tags. How to do boxes. Well, the envelope and uh, box generator is on the same page. And banners as well. The QR code there. to input put your uh, blade in basic user guy very handy so that's that so like you'd have to lift it up like that then go like that no because you can't move well you can but Your scoring mode. And it won't go back, so I can lock them. Now, let's see if I can put the stand back on my phone and like that. There. So you lift it up and you go like that. So for the scoreboard, you just slide it down, flip it over, then put it back in. So this one, push, clip, and lift measuring tool. Let's see if I can... This here. So I...
I should take him out. He's kind of stuck. Or excuse me. I can't do it. Lift it out. I have this angle, I can't lift it out. Um, this puts it there by measurement, slide, and click the measurement tool back into place. Hmm. Anyway, I'll uh, get it out of the box and I'll show you all the. What's it? The guide. The uh, envelope matrix table and the word I'm looking for. So here's the board. You just slide it out, and that way is uh, centimeters. It's got it on there. And you just slide it back in. You just you know, slide it out. And this one has inches on it. But go to this side is your punches. One's here. It's like just a this is where Behind the hold and form tool here. I guess maybe this part is for curling the paper. I don't know. Just slots back in there. And you can easily take these out. It indicates on here, where I guess it should be placed. So I just take it out, or put it back in. And this one is a corner rounder, so you have that side or the tag side, kind of side. So it shows right here where to put it. It's got two little arrows on here. So if you want a corner rounder, I'll just leave it on there. You just place it in there. Okay, so here is the envelope table, matrix table thing. So it's got inches this side, centimeters this side. And it's, excuse the floor. <laughs> Um, the stock size of the paper you need on the top in bold and where you're supposed to fold, score, I mean, in light, like gray, I guess. So for instance, if your card was, say, I don't know, let's say here, seven, like this size. Whatever that is. You need a cardstock size of 7 and 5 eighths and score at 7 11 sixteenths. I think the fraction, so I'd probably do it in centimeters. So like let's let's do an easy one. Here. You need a stock size of 20, so 20 by 20. Then you need to score at 20.7 on both sides. 
because on here, you got the score, and then after you scored it, you turn it around, and you align a score on the align thing, so you don't need to measure it again, and just score along the thing. Okay, so this is the trimmer, and this lifts up. Very nice, very nice. I guess you can use another blade in here if you need. There's also, I didn't notice, a uh, ruler down there. And there's also a ruler on the trimmer lifty uppy thing. Guard. Yes, that's the word. <laughs> lifty uppy thing. Um, yep, it's in inches, hence the fractions. So I guess this one is centimeters. Along here is, I guess, centimeters if this bit is in inches, I guess. There it is. And this is the blade. So from what the thing says, to lift, to remove the blade, you gotta just go that way. And take it out by this thing. And replace this. Obviously, I'm not gonna do it because I don't need to. But then, voila! And like, you can go like this to cut out, like, you know, square or whatever aperture of your card without cutting the entire thing off. Very nice, very nice. I am going to make the envelope because for my mom's Mother's Day card. Whether this this will probably not be uploaded until April, really, to be honest. But then again, Mother's Day is different in the States than over here in the UK, so it could be Mother's Day by then. <laughs> I don't know. But I can show you the card. I shall show you the card that I made. Because I, I, I forgot to record me actually making it. Oopsies. Oh, I probably should show you what other thing I got in this order as well, because I got this one from Hobbycraft. It was my first Hobbycraft order. So, and it was, it was on their birthday event sale thing. So instead of 57 or whatever, it was 39.99, maybe? Anyway, it was cheaper than retail, anyway, which was good. And also I used my welcome uh, email newsletter code, I think, too, so I got a tiny bit more off. Um, also, I bought two other things which aren't here, because they said they would come from the other, their own supplier, not from Hobby Maker. And... Well, those two are the two dies that I'm looking forward to. Let's say a floral cross and a scroll nesting dies, because as you probably saw in a previous video, from at least the one of the spellbinders walls, I got a set of feathers, the feather dies. So I thought that would be very good, you know, like a quill feather type thing with scroll. I need an ink pot, but I can probably make one, right? Maybe. Um, so I thought that'd be a cool card to make, you know, just an idea floating around. I also like quills as well, so yeah. Um, also, the other thing I ordered, I already said that, didn't I? The floral cross. It looks very pretty. It like had a lily or something in the middle of the cross. Which is nice. Good for Easter, too. But I don't have it yet. Hopefully it'll arrive before Easter. And a thing that did come with this was a thing of heart and star as glitter type sequin things. I think that was called glitter. Not sequins, but I don't know. Um, so I'll see if I can fit this on my desk, <laughs> and uh, we'll go on to the video as normal on the desk instead of on the chair and on the floor. Maybe I can maybe make it on the bed. But I don't have anything. Mm, I might be able to move that thing and put it on my bedside. Thing. But I'll do that in in a few minutes because my ice cream is melting. <laughs> so I will get back to that. That's my I was going to eat that before I recorded anything, but I didn't. 
I even just now looked back at it and realized I had it there. So I should eat that before I do any more of this. I got rid. I got through the uh, general opening video of this, which is good. My arm's tired though because I'm holding it with my hand. But obviously, um. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a second. I'll get. I'll show you uh, the glitter. Okay, so I came in a bag and bubble wrap. So, I'm not sure how to say that name, but that's the brand for this one. Iridescent shapes. I guess form is iridescent in a different language. The metallic. Six sets. You got some very lovely stars and hearts. Silver. I think let's move up so I can show you better. That's silver, not black, even though it looks kind of black. It's more of a gunmetal kind of silver, that one. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. It's a lighter silver, kind of like a two kind of shades of gold there. And some rose gold and hearts, white. I guess that's gunmetal, kind of grey. It could be black. I mean, I can't tell unless I hope it. It's got a very nice dispenser here. Kind of reminds me of, um, what's it called? The icing sprinkles. I've got quite a few things to record that are kind of on the desk. Yeah. Look forward to that video. That's my, uh, um, Wax melt, electrical wax melter thing, so I don't have to keep on holding the heat gun to hold it, to heat it, and um, you know, melt the wax, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so that's this. I thought it'd be neat to put in some shaker cards or something. But yeah, I shall continue this after I eat my ice cream. Okay, so this is the card. So, from the in layout collection, with this embossing folder, the dies are from one of the tag ones from the spell riders. The stamp. These two, I think, were together. And these were from one of the stamps from one of the magazines. This is a Gina K design stamp. That one, I think, came from that collection, if I remember rightly. But I'll uh, do it in centimeters because I won't have to count all of those lines with the thick pin thing for inches. I did look up a uh, video. By chance, they actually had the uh, how much is an inch and how you measure it. That was one of the May May Made It uh, videos on YouTube. It was about something else. That was like a refresher, three minutes or something, which was very useful because I didn't know any of that actually. So, uh, anyway, here's the uh, envelope matrix table. And starting from the bottom, you line up your card, and then you use, you fill it's that corner. So it needs to be a stock of 20.7, and then a score at 19.3. So I got some lovely pattern paper from the Ditsy Floral Collection paper pad from Trapper's Companion. So I need to measure it at 20 point... what was it again? 20 point seven hundred. Right? Yeah. 
and this takes up a lot more of my desk than I planned, so hopefully it's, it'll be fine. And what does this say? It's 5, 6, 7, so it needs to be over 2 more. I need to move the camera a little because I'm putting it too close. So yeah. And I can move this over some more. Save it space. Okay, so. Fine. So I'm looking at it right anyway. My. That's why it was moving. <laughs> it wasn't on properly. Okay. Be sure to click in next time. Um, five, six. Hang on, I want to be getting in the way, so one sec. Okay, I need to go and close because my eyesight sucks. So I think this is right. Okay. So I'll save the scraps for later. Over here. And this needs to be 20.7 as well. Of, like they continued down here for the moment. I think it's here. Maybe. Would have been better to move it up better. Okay, well, we'll say it's from here. Save them for later. Okay, so now it is scoring time. So get the. You could get it out. And it needs to be at 40. I mean 45. There. to be nineteen point oh is it again nineteen point three at least that's not too bad That's about right. Go back to it. So now we just score. After scoring that, we 
turn it again. Line up the score. On the line tool, then score this way. And repeat. But it's for the right place to me. Hopefully I did. I mean, I think I did. Okay, so I scored it. I didn't really let's look at the light on the thing so we can sort of see the score. Okay, so I would do it on the board, but like I have no space. I might be able to space my turn it, but not much paper space. So what I do is I align, align it. From what I can tell, I think. That might have been a bit over, but we'll see. Let's try again. That was slightly better. Still slightly bit over. Sometimes I wonder if I'll. I wonder if it'd be better if I just cut it myself. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Hopefully it's not too bad, because this is technically human error if it is bad. So I'm gonna just use this, oh, put this back, then use, yeah, I need to chop it a tiny bit. I'll see if I can realign it better on the next one. I'll see if I, you know, by doing it there instead. Don't know if that will help any. We shall see. And that one on the floor. Alright. So, uh, I guess we'll do 
Yes, we need to round off the corners. Let's... Hmm. Yes, so... This one should be... Simple, yes. I know that's just three corners, but I wanted to try something. I have with me shortbread then of corner punches. So I wanted to do a fancy corner for the flap that goes down, you know? It's Mother's Day. So I'll do the hard one, I guess. Should be should be nice. Hopefully. Currently I keep it in this. I'm not sure what to, where else to put them right now. <laughs> okay, so this is the top one. Doesn't that look pretty? So what you do is fold these over, then fold this over. Did I forget to cut that? Up? There, that's better. So all we need to do is take these down. So I'll use some of my tape runner, I guess. I don't want to put tape runner on this. You have to rub the tape off and the glass. At least this is better to rub off on. From. I don't need, like, you know, an anti stick thing or anything. I just need to remember to rub, uh, get all the residue off. So, there. It's not sticky on the inside, which is good. It's 
So now I can put that there. And voila. You know what? I could probably do it for the this one as well. Maybe? There we go. You got some hearts right there. Should have really thought about that before. But wait, my little little jar from whatever this was chocolate spread. I mean, I don't eat it. I just have them have them give it to me when I finish. Um, yes. So, I actually didn't know you could take these off. I thought it was just for the cover, you know, and for, you know, aligning. But, uh, when I watched the, uh, Crafter's Companion, uh, thing, how do you put this back on? Is the question. This way. Ah, there we go. So, I watched the uh, characters TV. Uh, Craig actually took this off and actually did a thing, so I figured I'd try it out. And voila! Finished. I mean, I could put like a little white thing there to. to Emphasize the hearts, but that's fine. It's a little subtle. Yes. Um. Yeah. And let's see. Why am I blocking him? I guess I'll use this one. I forgot to sign. <laughs> That's not how I do my H's normally, but okay. Hmm. Emphasize currently call them um I mean, we live in Britain now, but like, mom is like a river, so like, still not saying anything else now. So, do I put it in this way? Put it in this way. I'll just do it this way. Yes, if you're wondering. I uh, painted it with a uh, water brush. Yeah, water brush. And my. After more shimmer ink pads, and like the, uh, what would you call it? The, would you say there's still duet ink pads too? I think, maybe. No, pearlescent pigment ink pads, not, du not duet, because that's hybrid. Anyway, yes, my silver pearlescent shimmer ink pads. Good for shimmer. I like sparkly things. So I've got this. So I will continue the next part in um, doing an envelope for this. 
Oh, this is cute. This is also from the layout collection. The stamps are from there. The uh, paper pad is not. I actually got this from uh, the Cactus Companion Advent Calendar 2022. Unfortunately, they don't come with paper pads anymore, I guess. They haven't done in the 2023 one. I have a whole playlist. I did. Oh, 24 days. Never doing that again. <clears throat> Individually. Anyway, yes. Then I did this. I mean, I could make like the other ones. Like, we have a thing. Like a Z thing down there. But I decided just to do like this. And... I got some other stamp from Gene King Designs, I believe. And I think lots of love is from these stamps that came in the layout collection, as well as, you know, the picture stamps. She likes her teams, I thought. Lots of red gems were from, and the silver gems were from somewhere. I think it was like a cheap store. But anyway, let me just write. And now I need to go to dinner. I believe it is honey sesame chicken and rice. She's very nice. So I'm looking forward to that. I think that's dry. Doesn't have draw time, so it seems fine. It's a uh, super ink marker, if you're wondering. Fine. And it's based on all types of surfaces fabric, plastic, plastic, glass, metal, paper, etc. Permanent marker. And I was really kind of reaching for, but I wanted a black pen, so there's a black pen. Okay, so I wrote that down, so I don't really need. All right, mom, on here. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to die cut it on, but I'm trying to not to write anything either. It looks pretty messy. Oh well. Got some tape residue on it from the plasma. You just wipe everything properly after. Always the next one, that looks weird. But anyway, yeah. So I think we're back over here. I'll do this card when I get back from dinner. I'll give this to mom at dinner. I'll move this back over here to set up for later. Then that go over. I would leave it for that. Is a little glue bottle. So I can't leave that knocked over. Right. Okay, this. We'll go back over here. We'll have this right here. Maybe we will waste the paper if I did it that one in there. I mean, And still be the same, actually. 21.4. Oh, no way. Well, it would be very loud. I'm probably twenty one point four because it doesn't fit. The corner does touch it. So twenty one point four either way. Hmm. Okay. And for that one, because it's a very nice pinky color, I don't have pink in that size. 
Only four by four paper pad I have. Is it a C4 or one, I believe? So you'll be in this lovely red paper pad. Place it on there. This mom comes in, she'll see what it is. So I will come back after dinner. Okay, I'm back. And um, dinner is nice. And I've got some lovely strawberry and cream mini haagen ice cream to eat after. And uh, so I'll be quick. Um, okay, so I thought I'd do it again, do it again. But I decided I think I'll try it on the inches side, you know, for something different. So this one is uh, 8 and 5 sixteenths, 7 and 11 sixteenths. Ugh, we're counting. So... 8 and 5 16. So I need to not do this with one hand because soon as I can, can't do it with one hand. Okay, so that one was this. So this one is the inches. So this. Okay, so inches there. Okay, inches, all set. So, <clears throat> I said eight and five sixteen. So eight and five sixteen. So one, two, three, four, five. Guess. This is that. There's a lot more things to count. That's yeah. yeah, easy, nice and easy. Pretty sure it's that. Okay. So there goes the trimming part. Now. Thirty. Forty-five. Okay. And this one, it said. Seven. Eleven sixteen. <clears throat> so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I guess. Hopefully this is it. Then we go around and align that. I believe that's there. Will this help finder? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it hides the spell more. Okay, so I believe that is the line. Okay.
So we'll try the notches again in this. I want to put it down this way because otherwise it is so not going. Oops. I need to clean my desk more. Mm -hmm. You all know that by now. Okay, so can't really see it though. Um, sort of there. Okay, that is better aligned on this side than it is over there. Okay. Okay. Good, good so far. That one, not quite technically. I wonder. We'll see. Well, there we have it. <laughs> Let's move this out of the way. And now, if I move my pin stuff, I need to, uh, <clears throat> then I need to, uh, what's it called? Put away. Let's forward. Then I will have room to put my trimmer there. Okay, so I have decided that's on the end, so Oh come on. My hand is not wanting. That was loud. That was very loud. Okay. I don't really know I need to put those on, but eh. Um, I'm going to put the things in my. Let's see, do I need to put those in here? Would they be useful for anything? I don't know, actually. Probably not. Old crescent moon kind of looking ones can be useful. And there's a diamond one. I guess the circles would be useful too. Just not the big things, I guess, then. And 
Oh yeah. Yeah, so I'll throw those bits away. But yeah, I chose to do the uh, loaded loop pattern. You know, might as well, you know, keep all of the uh, stray bits, you know, if you want to use a shaker card or something. Anyway, see? Doesn't look pretty. So let's fold. Hopefully, this will be alright. quite cut as deep on this on this side so I'm gonna have to do a little trimming right there but it cut fine on the other ones it's just that one <laughs> well doesn't that look nice down there, but yes, it is this one. Didn't quite cut as deep as we got. But anyway. Very nice. So I'm gonna put glue on both these ends. I mean, technically, I could do liquid glue because, like, this isn't, you know, needed until later. So I'll do liquid glue then. For a change. Just make sure that it's. I'll need to place something on it. Just a bit. Oh, this is heavy enough, maybe. Get down on both sides. If you're wondering, you just little. You know, Portion, clap, I mean, I call portion. China plates, kind of thing that I got from some. Um, technically, they're Kuji prizes, but I believe I got this as a present of some sort. I just use these to uh, weigh down and dry the glue. And that's everything, I believe. Um, I'm just gonna. Did I get anything? That was from something else. You know what that's for? Okay, so I clean that up. My lovely desk vacuum. I have not put googly eyes on it yet. I actually technically might get to find where mine are. 
That's um, there's somewhere. I need to. I do have anime eye stickers. I can put on it too. Well, I think Google Eyes would be more fun. I do have anime eyes. I could put on it. But anyway, I believe that's it, and that will fit. Does it dry? Has it dried? Anyway, it will fit this. Very nicely. You just... Maybe you could do it with a tiny bit more glue. Just a bit on the safe side. But otherwise, it's very nice. It just stuck very well. Just want to make sure it sticks. I did do, um, as you know, before the tape runner for my death. Oh, hey, come on. Okay. Um, as you saw before in the part before this, I did put tape runner. Is the last one. I'll leave it to thing later. More. Um, you know what? I could try the other thing, but that's in a different video. I might use this. Hmm. No. Um, anyway, um... They're just, you know... But yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't actually say, but the, uh, the ink pads I used for these ones was the copper, silver, and gold. And obviously the, I'm guessing this one was the Versifying Claire Nocturne, I think. But these ones were the, the, what's the word? Well, these ones, uh, Dewdrop. Brilliance series. This is the Starlight Silver. And there's the uh, Copper and Gold one that I used. But yes, I do believe it was the Versifying Claire Nocturne, is the one that I used for the black. I don't know if they'll be sometime. But yes. It's very nice. I really like this paper pad. This rose one. I don't know what it's from though. But anyway, yeah. It's just supposed to stand like this. Not really out like that. I mean, it could, but it's more like this. Technically, I guess you do put the sentiments normally on the back. You write it on the back where it's wise, but I decided just to stand it there. I mean, you could still sort of read it. Still fine. 
thing. I'll put this back in before I totally forget. But yeah, that was a success, I believe. I've got four <clears throat> four paper scraps that I can use for another card. Because technically, this is yeah, this is a good size for a, a layer for that type of shape. You know, I was putting it like that, or. Actually, these two, if I chop the red one a tiny bit more, would make a good mountain layer. I'll chop it a tiny bit more, or if I want to do it like this. Not as even, though. I mean, I don't even have to chop it if I do it like that. Or if I put it this way, because then I know. Right. And it does have grid lines, which I could line up very nice. But anyway, that's not really what I'm planning to do with it. I mean, that's busy side. That's a non-busy side to put, like, stamp a sentiment on. These can be in set their own, their own layers. Same with this one. But anyway, that's good to know. So I'll keep these with my other paper pads. Well, at least the smaller ones, because I have to move the other one. Uh, quite a few. Let's put this back here. Because like these ones from uh, magazine stuff, so it does have a nice like topper thing, a few topper sentiments that are nice, you know. But anyway, that is for another time. I like to shift my uh, 12 by 12 somewhere else because I couldn't get it back in the other bag that I had it in. I do have some A3 um, white kind of sort of card. I have no idea, but it's paper, so. Hey. Whether it's cardstock, I have no idea. It might not be cardstock. And I can't even close this. Um, well, anyway, while I am, uh, faffing with the bag, oh, I got it. I just got some of it. Okay. Because I got my, uh, what's it called? Some plasticky bits I kept from previous packagings <laughs> in there. So, I believe that bag I keep in, sort of bag thing, was a, uh, Pillowcase or duvet packaging. You know, it came with a zipper, so like that's nice. It holds my paper very nicely. And like, you know, scrappy bits. But anyway, yeah. So I'm just so uh, rambling. So, thank you for watching. And that's what um, I got from Hobby Leader. Also, a uh, correction. It isn't a floral cross. It was Graceful cross, I think, when we looked at the packing stuff. Floral cross is the spoiler, uh, is in my crafter's companion haul that's coming up. Whether it's before this video or not, I don't know who actually. We'll see. <laughs> I haven't decided when I'm uploading things. Because currently I need to record from crafter's companion haul number.
12, 13, 14, 15. So technically, Crafter's Companion hold number 15 is a bit mm, because it's only got technically two items. Is it worth it for a... But it's a separate order, so... And the order before had more items in it. Well, I'll just stick with it. And if I buy something that's equally small in number, I might add it on to that. But I kind of want to just record all the openings so I can get to crafting some stuff. So, that was everything out of the way, so I already said that, but, yes. Oh, and uh, this clicks into place when it's, it's got like this notch here. Okay, you just, you know, Oh yes. You know what? I didn't. Around the corner with the two other ones. Oh, it doesn't matter. I just glued them on anyway. But yes. I never actually showed you this one. I mean, it's not really much. It's, it's just a hole. <laughs> it's a hole punch. A single hole punch, which is good because I think I needed one, but this one doesn't really have much reach if you need to, you know, hole punch further. But like, if I was to do it, the paper will slide on here, the corner will be in here, because it's a 90 degree angle, be directly into that one. Um, I do have a scrap somewhere, I could show you what it looks like, maybe. Might not, because then I have to move this and I can't move this, because <laughs> so it's still drying. But yes, uh, I didn't notice, but it's got the uh, C6. S logo right there. Anyway, this is very nice. It is very. I don't have a uh, trimmer that looks like that. Hmm. This is like cheeky paper trimmer that I had that I got, I don't know, like at like a very cheap store thing. Maybe just, I think I showed it to you. What? Maybe. But like it doesn't have a uh, lifty thing. It's just a slide under. This is nice. I'm gonna distract myself playing with this though. Um, Yes, it's got uh, inches along here. And you know what? I did not know that. Oh, it also had some inches right here, too. I guess that's counting from one to. Oh, that's, that's continuing on. I get it, because like this one. A three there, so it's got one and two here. But also, I forgot to mention that this one does extend outwards. Like there. That's cool. It extends that way. And then, obviously. Click it back in place. And that is your scoring mode. Ooh. Hmm. Can go down now. That one as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
can go on to that part. We need to uh, continue on. I think. Yeah. It goes on. Because if you go that way, you don't take it out. It's in the reader, but still. Twenty five, and you can just, you know, thing. Or if you wanted to, uh, you know, because it's got measurements on both sides. This way and upside down. That's very cool. I don't think I mentioned it at the beginning in the initial uh, thing. Yes, and if you see, there's since it's inches on their guard, it is centimeters up here. I believe. Because there's no fractions up there. Yes. It's also very nice and big because I don't have a big one. That's a uh, random bits of paper. Okay, but yes. Also, um, I guess, I think I saw in one of the things, one of the tips and tricks is um, to remember to clean your Your blade track, because like you might get some bits of paper or whatever there that could hinder your blade when you're cutting. But yes, I'm very happy with this. I'll need to really organize my desk a bit more so I can keep it at least. I'll probably not keep it on my desk, you know, but uh, I'll... So I can use it on my desk, is more like... But yes, I have jabbered on enough. <laughs> I'll keep it in the box, because the box is very nice. I really like that it comes with a Sun Reader Inch's uh, envelope matrix table, because now I don't have to think about it. And my cards aren't normally that big. It wouldn't be that big. <laughs> I don't think I've ever made a card that big either. I doubt I will. So, probably, you know, the five. It's like a. Maybe a five by seven would be the biggest, but who knows? 6x6 six six is, I did one 6x6. Six six. But, uh, it's actually made it. Did the cover of it. I haven't actually made it. Anyway, I am really rambling. So, I shall let you get on with your day, or night, or whatever. I, ooh, actually, I need to eat my ice cream. I totally forgot. It's gonna be really, really melted right now. Oh, please. Okay, thanks for watching. Over and out.